the plan for today's video was going to be to start tackling these uh, engine mounts, the engine mount swap. You can see mine are very rusty and the rubber is completely destroyed. I'm not even sure if it's like holding the engine in place very well. The one in the back is, is much worse too because that's where some uh, sometimes salt water gets back there. So I'm thinking it's time for some new ones. I was doing a bunch of research. I didn't realize how important engine mounts are because I mean basically all the force, you know, that's coming out the engine and going to the propeller and propelling your boat is like being transferred through those engine mounts going forward and reverse and they need to kind of also dampen out the vibrations of the motor. Like when I first bought this boat, the, the, it was very, it would run really smooth uh, and, and quiet, but now I've noticed you know, like the engine's wobbling around a lot more and as I'm hearing a lot more vibrations and feeling them more. So I, I, I think that's just signs that these things need to be replaced. It's a part that's a little expensive. They're like a hundred dollars a piece. Uh, so I did reach out to Oceanic Inno Innovations and they, I got them to send me over a pair of, or a set of four of these. These look, they look pretty substantial, nice stainless steel. So I think that's a bit of an upgrade in urethane. Uh, they, there's a different, I guess, durometer for the front and the, the back mounts. Unfortunately, I didn't do quite enough research because, uh, well, these, they said they're a direct replacement for the Yanmar mounts, and I'm sure they are. Uh, when they installed my motor, they used, seemed, seemed to have used a lower profile mount. When I'm measuring the distance, like these things are way bigger than the, the mounts I have in there now. So I just don't think it's, unless I was going to plane down these like a, an inch, I don't think they're going to, they're going to work. That's the first problem. So we're going to need to get uh, lower profile mounts. Uh, but the second one is, uh, I don't think I really thought this through in my head. I was just thinking, well, lift the engine just a little bit, swap out the mounts, put it back down. I can do it in the water, uh, maybe, uh, maybe a couple of days, but. What I didn't think is the, the PSS, the shaft uh, seal, kind of requires the pressure to be pushing the shaft out, otherwise water will come in. So if I was to take the motor up off the mounts, I don't think there's anything, there would be anything holding the shaft seal together. I'm sure there's a way to do it, but I am not really confident about doing this in the water because uh, I just think it's going to take me a long time to get everything done and I, I just don't want to risk it so I, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and haul the boat out I think I'll go I'll go back to Malta and do it because I really like that boat yard and um I think I could have no problem sailing back to there I've done that before so we're gonna save the motor mount project for a little later uh, I feel bad to, I wasn't able to show these these great mounts at Oceanic Innovations uh, sent if you do need new engine mounts for your boat definitely take a look at them I'll put a link in the description we'll, we'll get this project done at a later date. Until then, let's just go explore more in uh, Venice. Adeline's gonna come, and next video will be sailing to Slovenia, get, get, getting moving for a while. I'm gonna put these little hooks right here because I always have like, I always end up piling stuff on this bench when I'm sailing, and it tends to fall on the floor, so at least this way you can like hook like bags and purses and whatever, what have you. So hopefully it will not end up on the floor. The fridge won't stop beeping at me, so I'm gonna pull out the beeper and see if that makes it work or stop beeping. I think that maybe solved the problem. The button stopped working uh, a while ago when I got splashed with a wave, but it still it still gets cold. We're just stuck with whatever settings I had it on, which I think it cools to like 40 degrees. I decided to add a horn to pickled herring. I had this on my previous boat and it's pretty fun when someone's sleeping down below to hit the button and <laughs> wake them up. Also, I about got ran down on my way into Venice, so I think we should have a horn.
sew it up one more fender cover with the hand stitcher. And Adeline is here now, and we're going to blow glass uh, uh, at the glass blowing place. I'm excited. Yes. with more control or control. Mm. For before, I think something more complicated. Oh. Doing our budget gondola ride. Two euros versus 90. We, got, we just gotta share it with a bunch of people. And uh, these guys don't have the best accident record compared to the others. We get two gondoliers though. Yeah. Oh, right in the back. I was very pleased with our two euro gondola ride. It was nice and quick and we got across the Grand Canal, no problem. These are the ones people pay 90 euros for and it just looks like if you're in traffic it, or a Disneyland ride or something. <laughs> the batteries got real low the last few days because there's been no sun, but I'm gonna try my new charger. We got this thing hooked up. Okay, so now, oh, it can only do the 14 amps in lithium mode. Well, that's lame. Next morning, we are fully charged. Charged really quick. Charged, I ended up just switching it back to the AGM mode because I don't see any advantage of charging it slower. This morning, I ran a car and got out of the city and headed up and through the Alps to the Dolomites here. Two hours to get to the mountain. I think I'm gonna go a little bit further in, so it'll be like about three hour drive from Venice. And we're gonna rent some skis this afternoon and hopefully do some skiing. Look, hopefully it looks like there's some, some snow left up there.
Yeah, we sail to Slovenia right here. Hope to see you then. Of course, if you want to say the most up to date with the videos, feel free to subscribe to the Patreon. I think you can join for as little as a dollar. I've I uploaded all of my last seasons of videos. I think there's like 50 videos to the Patreon video. So you can you can watch them all beginning to the end. It's like 20 hours of footage without any ads. If that's what you're into, if you want to catch up, that's a, that's an option for you. If not, just keep watching my YouTube. It'll, it'll be out soon. I'll see you guys next time.